speaking of West Coast, speaking of Vegas, I know you guys have talked about it, but when you guys left, your boy had another opportunity with MGK. And it went very well. Really? It went very well. Yeah, talk about that, because you, you had mentioned it kind of in yeah. passing, because yeah. it was you, him and Jelly Roll, right? Right, right, right. So the, the first night, it was at Power Slap, which, by the way, Jack, I know we've been to every single Power Slap. How epic was this last Power Slap at yeah. Durango? It felt different. Felt there, different? There a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of big people there. It was fun. It was a time. cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how Jack talks, yeah. though. It's like, that is enthusiasm for him. <laughs> so, yeah, we go to that, and then obviously uh, this guy named Steven, I believe his name is. He's uh, MGK's manager. Also, he's partners with Rob Muji, for those of you who are wondering, in the same agency. He's like, hey, MGK is going to be here in a little bit. I was like, hey, man, I love MGK. I love his music. I think he brought back a whole entire genre, blah, blah, blah. I give him my little elevator pitch on why I'm a fan of MGK. He comes up to me as I'm actually getting, we're getting the other boys in, you guys in. And uh, he's walking up. Obviously, I, I see him. Obviously, you and I are talking. And yeah, he's literally talking about gambling. He's like, I got this $1,000 trip right here. I got this $1,000 right trip right here. There, like, yo. Hey, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. I was, I was hyped. meeting MGK. But I met MGK and I met people call him Kels. I'll call him Kels for right now. He like threw his shoulder, he like dapped me up and like threw his shoulder into me. And then when we were talking, he's kind of looking me up and down. I don't know if you noticed that. He was kind of like looking at me, sizing me up a little bit. I'm thinking, come on, man. Like, we don't want to do this. We're just trying to be boys right now. And it was very quick, very much. It was easy enough for me to be like, I didn't like that experience. It wasn't a great experience for me. Very you much. Meet your heroes. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like one of those. That's like, one of your guys. It also, to me, was like great in, a, in one way because tormented artist. That's what he comes off to be. And to see him like that, I was like, good. <laughs> like His art is going to be so beautiful in this next yeah. album. Obviously, I hope he gets help. hope he figures it all out. So the next day, I'm at UFC after a Saturday with jelly and it was great because it was like not a whole lot of people there it was at the apex it was just me and jelly just catching up hanging out for like a couple hours and uh i let him know the same story i just told you guys like listen like Je uh, jelly and kels are like boys and so he's like telling me he was probably just wearing something i know the sean strickland video came out about his, sean strickland yeah, a, calling him a freak and 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 all that i'm pretty sure that happened on the bird app they yeah, yeah. on the bird app i'm pretty sure that happened after it's not a big deal but i told him i was like yeah man it was kind of a a disappointing first impression. It just seemed like the dude was wearing a whole lot and it was, it was just a tough come by. And so that night I'm at Red Rocks, Dana hits me up and he's like, Hey, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, Oh, I'm here. He goes, come to Caesars. I believe it is. Come to Caesars to this place called Pinky Ring. Your night's going to change. I'm thinking sick. Cause we know Caesars, what he, he bets there is $75,000 a hand. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking away game. The new stresses are there. I'm in a car. I'm driving over. I'm very nervous. I get a text from this lady named Evelyn who is going to bring me into the pinky ring. It turns out pinky ring is this very, uh, it's right in the middle of the casino of Caesars or Bellagio. They both look very similar. It's like this little arena type of looking thing, but it's just like a bar, like a speakeasy kind of bar. And I walk in there and I see, I hear this fucking golden voice. That's like, like literally piercing my ears. And I'm like, Oh my God, whoever's singing right now is incredible. Turns out that individual is Bruno Mars. Hit a right, hit a right hand, start walking. I see Dana, his boy skips there. Hunter's there. Hunter now. That boy moved them hips. He he got Oh the, yeah, he was out there he dancing. Got my God, with Bruno Mars. <laughs> he was moving those hips like crazy. So we sit there, we're hanging out. I would catch a grenade Dude, for bro. you. And he's like, I know we got somebody in the uh in the audience tonight. Uh, I think it was like baby something. Baby face or baby something. Baby I don't Ron? know. Baby Keem? I don't know. He, I think that's BB King. You're thinking of BB King. Um, but yeah, he, he's like, I got somebody in the audience, blah, blah, blah. And, and then Hunter and Dana are getting hyped up. I don't know who this guy is. He starts singing, hands the mic to Buddy, and the Buddy starts going fucking off. And I'm like, oh my. And you guys know I'm not a big concert guy, but for me, I'm like enjoying the fuck out of this moment. And uh, he's singing. Some lady comes up. She starts ripping. They're like, he, turns, he says he turns the place into a strip club. All of a sudden, he's playing crazy music, and he's like doing his thing. It was a unbelievable experience i say that all just to flex on how cool my night was <laughs> i was ready for mgk to kind of no, come no, no, in no. The picture he's somewhere. coming he's coming later i promise but i just wanted to paint in my face i'm fucking hey, hey <laughs> yeah my uh, life's awesome also dana gets on the phone while we're there and he's like uh okay cool and he hangs up the phone and goes hey uh jay-z and beyonce are gonna come they're gonna sit at our table with us i was like oh for real he's like yeah yeah, yeah. so you know he's like they'll be here in about five minutes they didn't come but I wanted to tell you guys that because I wanted you to feel that piece of excitement I just felt, right? You guys get that? That was nice. Hold that in tight because we're going to go to Caesars now. We finished the concert. We end up ripping over, getting in the car, going over like 
a two lane road over to Caesars. We pop in there. We go to Caesars into the high roller room. They got a similar situation to uh to Red Rock, Red Rock with the how there's a room behind the room. Mm-hmm. But this room, like double doors open up, security sitting there with their earpieces on, like, you know, you're the president or something, opens the door, walks down this long hallway with a bathroom and an emergency exit, and then it opens up into a room where it's like Baccarat, craps, uh, roulette. And a one blackjack table, and there's just like five people just sitting in there, like ready to deal you with whatever game you want. And it's like, no one is allowed in there. We get in with Dana. Dana ends up playing. Bing, bang, boom. Three hands, three dubs. Two hundred thousand dollars for him. Did you enter the small chaos? I did not enter the seventy-five. They asked the the guy, his boy Nick, was like, "Are you playing?" And Dana, like a father, goes, "He's not going to play here. He's good right now." And I'm like, "Thank you," because I was I would have, but I was that's <laughs> terrifying, right? Like the implications are so much more so then jelly's coming so we wait for an hour or so jelly ends up coming he's playing then jelly's like kels is gonna come so now i'm thinking redemption go in the bathroom take a piss we're waiting for like 30 40 minutes now he comes he's gambling with everybody now we have a big crowd about 15 and, and people just to be clear kels is mgk kels is mgk okay okay so bunny his uh jelly roll's wife mm-hmm. she's over there with a group of girls and uh i go over hey guys nice to meet you taylor 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 and I see Bunny give her a big hug, and then I cruise back over the table. Well, one girl looked very familiar, looked unique and beautiful, and it was Megan Fox, his wife, obviously, that was there too. But I couldn't recognize her at all because it's like, I think of Megan Fox, I'm thinking Transformers mm-hmm. right next hood to up, Hood up, yeah. On the, yeah, hood up. Yeah, yeah. Hood, the, the whole thing, the hood up. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows. Everybody knows. Hey, you know exactly yeah, what I'm talking is. about. She looked completely different. Still looked fan- fantastic. Anyway, Megan Fox was there, but I saw Kels. He's like, hey, dude, good to see you again. Daps me up like we've been boys for a minute. He starts talking to me. He's like, blah, blah, blah. And I give him the whole, hey, man, tickets to my downfall. Best album in the last 20 years since Blink-182's self-titled album. And we start talking about Blink-182 and he's loving it. But he's so, I'm 95% sure Jelly Roll hit Kels up and was like, my boy Taylor, the first impression wasn't great. Just know he's going to be there tonight. I'm, it literally felt like that. And to that, I say, thank you, Jelly Roll. Because it was, <laughs> even if it was fake, I still... Think of MGK as the fucking man now. Mm-hmm. So that was a very cool experience. They ended up winning a bunch of money. It was it was a killer time. We're leaving, and uh, we're still talking about music. He's like, "Hey, if you got any uh, like advice, or you want to go over songs or something like that, like let me know." What <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, I look awesome. at him, I go, "Bro, I'm not, I'm not creative enough to do that." <laughs> like, I appreciate you. That's when it really hit me. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, Jelly definitely said something. But I was like, "Hey, I appreciate," it, but you know, <laughs> your boy's never written a song in his life. And he's like, oh, it's all good. You know, maybe we can, we can get something going. You know, you, you could have said like, but you know, you ever want to throw something my way and you want, you want my feedback. Let me have your number. Yeah. yeah. Give it to me right now. Slide in there with some digits. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that was a very cool experience. Next day, headed home, exhausted. Tired boy. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But overall, an incredible trip. So much fun. Yeah. Yeah, we out. Uh, the boys did very well yeah. with the uh, Super Bowl week. 